we have the big brim today because we have a big video. I'm so excited. I'm going to be sharing with you my 13 top amigurumi patterns for Halloween. Hello, my name is Sonnet and I love to crochet Halloween amigurumi. So I was so excited to curate a list of free and paid patterns that I could share with you. So before we get into those free patterns, I do have an honorable mention and I couldn't do this video without talking about these patterns real quick. But a few weeks ago on social media, I came across these. They're not amigurumi, so that's why they're not officially a part of the video. However, you guys know how much I love Disney, and I especially love the Haunted Mansion. So when I saw these Haunted Mansion stretching portrait tapestries, I was blown away. The stretching portraits are iconic when it comes to the attraction, and so to see these tapestries, I was, I loved it. So this is from a designer called Crochet or Cry, which I can relate. But you better believe once I find the space that I'm going to put them, these Haunted Mansion stretching portrait tapestries are going to be displayed all year long because is this haunted room actually stretching? I think their patterns are so creative and I love them and Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the Amigurumi patterns, the real 13 patterns I was excited to share with you. Now we are starting with the free patterns first. The first pattern is actually Sir Batwington Bat, and this is from the crochet designer Sweet Softies. I've talked about Sweet Softies a lot actually on my channel, and that's because I really enjoy their patterns. There's a lot of free ones. They're really quality, good patterns. They're so cute. They work up relatively quickly, which is nice. And they're overall just well-designed. So this is rated as an easy pattern slash familiar beginner, which I think is a really interesting way to kind of describe it. If you can do a half double crochet, if you can chain, you should be able to do this one, no problem. Next up, we have this wolf amigurumi. I found this one over on Ravelry. It's a little werewolf, so cute. Now this is actually from the YouTube channel Toy Gurumi. Toy Gurumi is actually crocheting and then they have the instructions on the bottom of the screen for you to read and crochet along with them. Now it does look like Toy Gurumi uses an eyelash yarn for the fur. So I'm curious to see how this design would work up without something furry. But if you have like a faux fur yarn or something like that, you could probably substitute that as well. Based off of the time taken, what I see on the YouTube video, I feel like this pattern would be good for a kind of more advanced beginner. And again, this is a YouTube video, so there is no written pattern that I was able to find. So just keep that in mind if you wanna make this one, it is that video format. Do you think I could make a amigurumi pattern video and talk about free patterns and not mention a menagerie of stitches. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. A menagerie of stitches had to be in there. Back in my, I think it was the springtime video, maybe summertime. I don't know. Back in one of those videos, those pattern videos, I actually shared with you the modification of the chubby bunny with the more spring slash summertime kind of modifications to them. And a menagerie of stitches did the same thing, but this time Halloween. <laughs> so again, you take the chubby bunny pattern, which actually does have a YouTube video associated with it as well. And then you modify it to become one of these more Halloween themed bunnies. Lauren Espy's patterns are some of the best ones. They are so incredibly written. Oh my gosh, they're great. I love them. This chubby bunny would be an excellent size for any kind of little Halloween trick or treat basket or anything along those lines. So cute. And just when I see you reading through that original chubby bunny pattern, this pattern is very simple, very straightforward. If you do have the basics of crochet and amigurumi making down, I have no doubt that you can make one of these bunnies for sure. Next up is a stringy ding ding. Now I just talked about stringy ding ding in my summertime pattern video and for good reason, Stringy Ding Ding is back. And what I love so much about this designer is they take a theme, so 
in the summertime. There was the summer themed one. This one is the fall Halloween ones and they run with it. And you don't just get one pattern. You don't just get two patterns. You get a ton of patterns. So this is the Halloween Amigurumi set. I am counting it as one just because it is a set. <laughs> and all of these patterns are free, which is excellent. All of these Amigurumi patterns definitely look a little bit more on the easier side, or I would say more, you know, advanced beginner. Some of the techniques you might need to practice once or twice, but if you are fairly new to crochet and Amigurumi, this might not be the best set for your very first Amis, but if you've made a couple Amis, I think you should be just fine making these. They are so cute. Start off with those little ones. You can then work your way up into those kids with their Halloween costumes on. And I just love that little candy corn with his little arms. I think that is so funny. So are you a fan of candy corn or are you not a fan of candy corn? Personally, I love candy corn. I think candy corn is delicious. Although I do prefer the candy pumpkins. I think they are even sweeter, therefore even more delicious. So let me know down in the comments, are you team candy corn or team absolutely not? Keep candy corn away from me. So the next free pattern I have, I actually have it on my Etsy wish list. And when I saw that it was actually a free pattern as well, I was blown away because I think this pattern is incredible. And so being free, sign me up. And that is Penny pumpkin head. Now this is from a designer called Spin and Yarn Crochet. And like I said, I saw this on Etsy and I had it on my wish list. I love Penny Pumpkinhead. I think she is so cool. But I would say based off of just what I see of Penny Pumpkinhead and what I was reading through the pattern, this one is definitely more of an intermediate pattern. There's definitely some wire work that goes on with this pattern to make sure that she can hold her head up. <laughs> now it doesn't look terribly difficult to where I'll be pulling my hair out in frustration, but it does take a little bit more time, a little bit more know-how. And this is definitely one of those projects that would take a little bit longer than just an hour or two to crochet up. I'm definitely making Penny Pumpkin Head. She will be on my hook this fall and I can't wait to share her when I'm done. Now this one, oh wow. <laughs> This is a pattern that is free on the hobby website and I've seen a couple of people make this pattern. I adore this pumpkin spice latte. This is me in pumpkin spice latte form. It's me. <laughs> so it does say that the difficulty level is intermediate. So if you are a beginner crochet or amigurumi maker, you might want to skip this one for now. I think I'm going to make one and try and scent it. Can you imagine making a scented pumpkin cinnamony scented amigurumi? Oh my gosh, I bet that's gonna be so fun. Uh, this pattern is from the designer Yarn Girl Live. So definitely check that out. Check out Yarn Girl Live as well. I love this pumpkin spice latte. I will be making one if not two, and I'll probably be drinking a pumpkin spice latte while I do it. The next and last last free pattern that we're going to be talking about is from Yarn Society called Gigi the Ghost. I had to include this one just because one, Gigi is super cute and fairly simple it appears to be. You could make a ton of these really quickly and again, they're darling. The skill level is listed as advanced beginner, so maybe get some of those more basic techniques down and then you should be able to hop over to Gigi the Ghost. But what I really love about this pattern really has nothing to do with the actual Amigurumi itself, but on the pattern website for Yarn Society, it actually lists Gigi's birthday, it lists her likes, which is spiders, goblins, and witches, and it also lists her dislikes, which is positive vibes and florals. I get it, Gigi. I understand. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys know I love like the little backstories to Amigurumi. I think that is so cute. And I feel so connected to a character when I know their backstory. But adding in the birthday likes and dislikes is all a whole nother level of cuteness that I didn't know existed. And now I want to know what all of my Amigurumi likes and I wanna know what all of their dislikes are. <laughs> this one is super cute, super customizable. I love it, I had to include it. That's Gigi the ghost. <laughs>
Now that's it for all the free amigurumi patterns, but I did just want to say if you come across a free amigurumi pattern that isn't necessarily Halloween, it's so easy to kind of customize it and make it Halloween themed. So if you do find one that you just absolutely love, but it's not Halloween, well then Halloweenify it. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and get into the paid patterns. Now, I prefer to buy a lot of my patterns from Etsy, so that's where I'm going to be sharing these from. So the first one I want to talk about is from a designer called Miss Crowlet, and my goodness, we already did the little ghost previously, but these little ghosts are so cute. Now, this is a bundle where you get four ghosts. You get the plain one, but then you also get one with a flower crown, one with a sunflower hat, and then one with a mushroom hat. A ghost with a sunflower crown, I don't think there's anything more sweet than that. That is too cute. But the one thing that really drew me into these Amikurumi, it's not the cute little darling hats. It's the actual shape of the ghost. I love that these are more of the like sheet type of ghosts. I think that shape and that design is really cool and really unique and something I haven't really seen much. Most of these patterns too are no sew. The only sewing that is required is the sunflower crown. So if you like a good no sew pattern, definitely check this one out. Next, we have a pattern from Medvedic toys design and this is a crocheted cauldron with a broom and a raven this one i really liked because i like that the cauldron has the eyes you got the little witch's legs in there which i thought was really funny and i just think the design is really unique because then you have the broom that's kind of leaning against the cauldron and you have the raven up there it's just cute cauldrons ravens witches just so halloween themed and this pattern does look like a more advanced beginner type of pattern you want to have those basics down before you kind of really dive into this one but if you love cauldrons and witchy things like i do then this one is definitely for you so as we go on from here, things are going to start getting a little bit more weird as we go. But the first two are kind of cute and very Halloween themed and fun. But these ones are going to start getting a little bit more and more different and unique. I think unique is the important word there. And I love a good unique design. So the first one is this little space creature monster thing. Oh my. This is from Droll Toys World. And I love this design. I love the two different colored safety eyes. That is so cute and smart, especially when you have like a monster or Martian type of thing going on. There's a ton of like texture on his back too. And the colors that are used specifically for this one in the photo are just great. Now, obviously you can choose whatever colors you want, but I really like the colors that the designer chose. I think they're wonderful. It's just funny. It's just funny and silly and I love it. Based off of the pictures I see, this one is definitely more of an intermediate to maybe even advanced design. There is a lot of detail that goes on with this one and it appears there is a lot of sewing as well. I have a ton of pattern by Droll Toys World in my wish list as well. They have such unique looking patterns and I love it. So if you do like more of the unique kind of amigurumi stuff, stuff that's not so trendy, I would definitely check out their designs because they are really, really cool. Next, we have a pattern by Cottontail and Whisker. Oh my gosh, Cottontail and Whisker. You have my heart forever and always. Cottontail and Whisker designs are so cool. They're funny and unique and some of them definitely have more of an adult humor type of thing going on and so I had to include this candy corn bundle. I don't even know what's happening but I love it. <laughs> what's even going on? I don't know. I don't know. Again, some of these patterns do have more adult themes to them. Now this does say it is an intermediate pattern, which I have no doubt. It seems like there's a lot of shaping that's going on, but it's so funny. It's really cute. It's really weird and silly. I really, really admire the creativity that goes into a cottontail and whiskers pattern. Next up, we have a pattern by Crafty Tibbles and I love Crafty Tibbles patterns. Again, so unique, so cool. This is the spooke pattern or the spooky bouquet. <laughs> I love this kind of spooky Halloween decor. I don't like scary, 
like horror movie scary, yucky scary. I like spooky stuff like this that is just weird. Again, I've said it a million times in this video. It's just weird and I like it. This pattern does use craft wire and it does look like it is going to take a little bit more time. I've had this pattern on my wish list for a couple of years now and the main reason I haven't gotten around to it is just because I know it's gonna take some time to make this one. So if you are a beginner crocheter, amigurumi maker, I wouldn't start off with this one. There's a lot going on. I have to do it soon because I have been wanting this one for a long time and it is just so unique. Which leads us to the last one. And this one is definitely the most weird out of all of them. But my goodness gracious, I love this pattern design. It blows me away. This is just called the Halloween Creepy Doll. This is by a Little Inspiring Soul, another designer that just makes really kind of strange, unique type of designs that I absolutely adore. And this has a very Tim Burton-esque type of feel to this doll. And it is definitely an intermediate pattern for sure. And it does appear that there's other textiles going on in there. It appears that she's got some kind of fabric strips there for her dress, her hair. I don't even know, but I love it. I love all of the photos on Etsy of the people who have purchased their pattern and have uploaded their makes because all of their makes are so cool and different and unique. And that's what's really cool about this pattern. You can make it so unique to you and what you want and your style. I just, I think it's so cool. You could make it spookier. You could make it cuter. I have been looking at this pattern for months. Every time I look at it, I'm more and more blown away. This is what I want when it comes to like pattern design. I think this type of creativity is mind blowing and I'm here for it. Absolutely. Okay, oh boy. <laughs> that was all 13 of them. I want to just keep talking to you guys about Halloween patterns, but I'll save that for later. I was thinking about doing a video where I share 13 of your favorite Halloween amigurumi patterns. So if that is a video you are interested in, please let me know what patterns do you absolutely love for Halloween. Be sure to comment all of that down below. But I did want to take a quick moment to just thank each and every one of you for being so wonderful and so kind and supportive. You guys really are absolutely amazing. You inspire me every single day and I love that I get to talk about my favorite hobby with so many wonderful people. So if you are not subscribed, maybe do that. Maybe subscribe. That would be really cool. I'm trying to get to 2000 subscribers and I'm also really close to 2000 followers over on my Twitch. And I'm curious to see which one hits 2000 first. Is it going to be YouTube or is it going to be Twitch? I don't know. We shall see. Also, be sure to hit the thumbs up button because that shows me that you like Halloween. Do you like Halloween? Then hit the like button. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that. I love you guys so much. You are so wonderful. And I will see you all a little later. Bye.